I find it really funny that after both uh, Destiny and Short Fat Otaku took me wildly out of context, I didn't even realize uh, that in Short Fat Otaku took me even more wildly out of context than Destiny did. I just assumed he reposted Destiny's clip, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> But, uh, it's, it's really, it's really funny. And then after that happened, uh, apparently on Destiny's stream, he's like, yeah, I, I doubt they want to, but I would debate her. That's like, what the, what the would I have to debate with someone who's already operating by taking me out of contact? Like, why would I accept that? I would have to be some dumb ass mother. <laughs> I know I already slandered you and my user base went after your sponsors, but come on my stream and debate me, bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Will you cohabitate with me? All right, yeah, here we go. Thank you. Thank you, KB. Uh, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna show this on screen. But, uh, this person decided that it was in their best interest to send me- Actually, I can probably show this on screen. I don't think- I don't think there's anything crazy in here. I don't think there's anything crazy in here. This is probably just some burner account, right? Uh, they sent me a whole bunch of videos of, uh, Russians getting blown up in the- and I'm just like, why? Why are you sending me Russian people dying? Uh, 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 what? I first of all, I'm not Russian. Second of all, that is an unhinged thing to do because I don't have the same political position as you. Why would you do that? <laughs> what? I think people forgot you're a Russian man with a voice changer. Jesus Christ. So uh, this person went on to say. Conservatives like you are the worst types of human beings alive. You support an insurrectionist who tried to overthrow official election results with false electors, some of which were charged. I'm ashamed I have to share a country with people like you who want to see its downfall. You are un-American. You are not a patriot. Nothing you ever do while supporting a dick will make you patriotic in the slightest. We should be able to deport people like you to Russia to experience what a second Trump term would be like. I also see you have no mention of Ukraine or any foreign policies on your account. Given that you are a slimy, disgusting, revolting conservative, I assume you also think Zelensky is a Yahtzee. That Ukraine is a Yahtzee. State. And that Russia should be an ally of the US. You reposted videos of Tucker Carlson as well. So I assume this is true based on those facts. Thankfully, I used to be a Republican. So I know how exceptionally stupid you types of people are. And how infuriating it is to try and reason with freaks such as yourself. Knowing plenty of VTubers as well prepares me for the degeneracy I expect from you. Politics and VTubers don't match one bit and you're a prime example of that being the case. Anyway, you're a slimy traitorous fuckhead with no soul and I pray that you never spread your genes and corrupt the future with all of the conspiracies and lies. I'm assuming he, he finished that with that you tell. And then, it, and then it was just a spam of a whole bunch of videos of, of Russian people getting blown up by the Ukrainians. I don't, I was just like, man, man what the f <laughs> Man, what, is this Raildex's alt account? What's happening? <laughs> My position the entire time has just been, I don't want my money as an American going to foreign wars. Not my war, not my clay, not my problem. Correct response to that is you intend. <laughs> oh, 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 I found it. Oh, I found it. That's true. Every uh, For every paragraph I'm sent by one of these people, another child I will birth. How does this person have time to write all this out? You have so many other things you could be doing with your time than writing that essay. I will give him the props that like, at least it's more, it's more thought out than the people who were just like, you fat and ugly c yourself. It's like, okay, as if I haven't heard that 7,000 times already. All right, okay. <laughs> bought into the ideological propaganda so hard it's uh it's a little crazy oh man you how dare you say that it's bad that someone wanted a firefighter father dead i was saying that he deserved it what a terrible person have some russian gore 
I use chat GPT for my hate messages to Kirsha. Is that also what you use for begging for findom and DMs, Skewki? Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five. Just reply with, how's back and Joe working out for you? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Where even, where even was I here? Monya! He's still more coherent than Destiny, true? <laughs> true and real. They're just unhappy. Happy people don't act like that. They're just too busy being happy. True and real. <laughs> true and real. Claudex, thank you for the two month Mamba! Uh, even if you want to believe Kirsha is a conservative, she is just one VTuber on Wait that minute, side. On. Literally every other that. VTuber is some progressive. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very, it's very lonely. <laughs> a few minutes later. Dev got ripped by his wife on stream for sexting troops not too long ago. I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Dev is a speedrun for the YouTuber Fall From Grace right now. I don't think he could manage to beat Rakita, but I mean, you know. Nim is watching you. Hello, Nimothy. Is that how you support the troops? I hope not. <laughs> He was on. Uh, you're here. Is anything broken? Not Sorry to my to knowledge. About your bussy. Not to my knowledge. He was on side scrollers this week, and the whole chat was just saying F this disingenuous jerk. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Craig. Craig is such a sweet guy. He like wants to believe in the best in everyone, but like some people, and I learned the hard way. Some people do not deserve the benefit of the doubt. And as a woman, I'm sure I will make that mistake multiple times, as it were. <laughs> Like I, I wanna, I wanna try and think. I will be, I will be a little bit more careful. But I, I also, woman moment, yeah. As, as a woman, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, and a lot of the times, I probably shouldn't. Send a Sonic medallion to your enemies. Destiny and Dev both deserve one. I'm not gonna send anything to anyone. No action. Think about the Android 16 quote in DBZ. I don't remember any quotes from DBZ other than screaming. <laughs> And there are people that came out wrong from the womb, don't waste time on them, unfortunately. Whatever happened to Dev, you don't remember him being so terrible a few years ago? Oh, he's been terrible for years. Don't worry about it. He's just been acting crazy the last four years. Um, I had, I didn't remember who he was at all back in the day. Like, my chat had to remind me, and I, I don't believe anything without sources, right? I, if somebody's going to trash talk someone, it's like, you gotta show me proof, man. You got you gotta show me proof. I'm not, I'm not gonna believe it unless there's proof. And so, chat had to remind me that, uh, SFO, like, pretended to be a woman and catfish people back during the original Gamergate. Uh, they reminded me about how he went after Jim and tried to, like, promote his docs information. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, some, some things don't really change. Jersh covered it on Matty? Oh, did he, did he go over the whole, like, what, what did he go over on Matty? I, I didn't, I haven't watched. Dev is like every single centrist that think both sides are bad. He's actually a lefty commie with a right-wing audience they hate. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough. He's got, he's got a handful of people hoodwinked at least, so, you know, he's got that. Grabs popcorn. No, no, keep going. This is better than the news right now. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been mentioning, I'm sure a lot of, a, a lot of people remember, like, a small video I released on Twitter. And then SFO made, again, the, uh, you keep your my name out of your mouth, I'll keep your name out of mine. He did not hold up to his end of the bargain, so I will be, I will be releasing the entirety of my archive. I don't want to deal with this anymore. His moderator has been harassing me since 2022. I'm sick of it. I'm Wait sick of him lying. I have a tab for that. I have a tab about gays. So it's gonna, really you, you guys will have a lot to read, but have it's, it's a lot. So I'm not going to go over it on stream. So I don't want to make content out of it. I don't want to get paid for it. I just want to release it and then be f done. When do I think Falside will be back? He's been gone? I don't- I don't watch his stuff, so I- I have no idea what the status of him is. Make a vid? I'm not gonna make a vid. I don't- I don't want to get paid for it. I don't want it to be a big hoo-ha. I don't wanna- I don't wanna be- Like, I- I just- I just don't wanna do that. Right, it's- it's just something that, like, I've been dealing with for years. I'm sick of it. I'm just gonna release the archive and then gonna be done. You want me to get paid for it? I don't. I- I don't. I feel like when you- when you make- when you make content out of something like that, it comes off as really grifty and disingenuous, and I just, I don't want to do that. Tag him to it so when his followers search him up, they see the archive. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> if you do make a vid, toss it on the Discord. You're sure Rev will make one? I mean, I don't care if people make a video out of the information. <laughs> uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Scrump will find it interesting. <laughs> One drop, boom, done. Yeah, exactly. You just you just release it, you leave. You know, no 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 hoo ha, no partying, nothing. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. True, uh, true. There's certain things I'll talk about, but it's like 
I don't I don't want to roll around in the mud with a slimy, disingenuous person. Because when you roll around in the mud with someone like that, you're just going to get yourself dirty. And I just, I don't want to deal with it. I'm not sure if Dev Change or if he's just showing his true colors. Definitely a true colors moment. Like, he, he, plays, he plays the part of the enlightened centrist very well, but that's not what he is. Oh my, oh my god. A few moments later. No, no way! Okay, that's hilarious. Speaking, speaking Jeez, of being Sally, disingenuous. Your boyfriend lets you have two Apparently, Dev got community noted. <laughs> him, him removing even more context from Destiny's clip. And I don't, I don't know if Destiny's gotten community noted because he probably has enough people on his side to prevent the community note from happening. But uh, the presented clip is edited to remove context. In the original, she says that jokes are always okay to be made, both about tragedies and the perpetrator. But saying a potential victim deserved to die is not a joke, but a statement. Oh, thank God for community notes, man. Elon did one thing correctly. <laughs> what about capybaras? Those are cute. Dev got community noted. Get f idiot. <laughs> Get f idiot. <laughs> Get noted, bozo. The uh, the ratio on it is pretty glorious to see, I will say. At one point on side scroller, she says, "I don't know why Kirsha doesn't like me. I like her." Well, first of all, you have to you have to understand that when people say that, but then continuously do disparaging things, they're only doing that to try and convince people that they're not coming from a disingenuous place. It's exactly like when Rakita would be like, "I like this person. I wish they'd make a million doll hairs," or when Kumalot would be like, "I like Pippa. Pippa's great. Pippa's wonderful," and then do things to harass Pippa. Right? Like it's it is just a deflection. They don't actually like people. The next day. Spooky hasn't really been around for a while. Oh, he has. Oh, he has. He's just on like a million different f socks when he comments on things because his reputation is so bad. Nobody wants to actually deal with him. Crimson. Hi, I'm a paranoid constitutionalist with morbid curiosity problems and little to no filter. And you were strongly advised to check out my content. Hey, uh, you sound very similar to me. <laughs> Sometimes people say unhinged things in chat and I just I have to look it up, you know? Welcome back. I hope I'm doing better. I hope I I get a reliable, solid manager. Thank you. Thank you. I've seen his numerous alts all over. Event appearances. Yeah. He de he deleted his uh Melchi or account after sending me the DM because I I took the screenshots immediately because it's just like I'm not I'm not gonna deal with these people, dude. I'm not gonna deal with these people. Any anyone who reads my document and wants more info on Spooky, his 78-page Google Doc that he released himself, thinking it would exonerate him from stalking and harassing a woman, uh, actually just proved that's exactly what he's doing. So that that still exists. I didn't think it was relevant to include that 78-page Google Doc in my Google Doc, but it's out there. <laughs> it's, it's just like it keeps happening. It keeps hap- people keep trying to be like, oh, I caught Kirsha doing something, and it's like, no. No, you didn't. <laughs> Stop. I have longer receipts than CBS, man. Why are you doing this? Pick a different target. <laughs> people who argue in bad faith usually only ever double down on their lies because they have nothing else to fall back on. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But uh, the, uh, the DM that I received before he deleted his account, and I only know that he deleted his account, because I went to get, like, a real timestamp since they just say yesterday. These were sent on, like, the 23rd, I'm pretty sure. Like, let's talk. I want to clear some things up. I don't want anything to do with this drama culture, gay ops, nonsense anymore. You should have thought of that before you participated in it for over a f***ing year. You can't... <clears throat> You can't just say, I know I harassed you and spread lies about you and instigated gay ops against you for a year and a half, but now I just want out of it. Now, now I want to appeal to your kindness to just leave me alone. Like, what the f*** is wrong with you? What is- Go get some help! Get some f***ing therapy! Because eventually you're gonna do this to someone more autistic than me. And instead of a documentation of your shitty behavior, they're gonna escalate in turn. I played with shit and got shit on and my hands and clothes. I don't want to play with shit anymore. Ah, don't start a fire if you don't want to get burned. It's just like, please, man. No, no mercy. I am not and never been on any side in this stuff, but somehow everyone keeps dragging me into it. This is, this is the person in my document who went around claiming that I doxed them Went around, like, the, the whole thing kicked off because this person kept trying to claim 
I was talking shit on them based on an out of context clip that I have all of the evidence for in my document, threatening me with lawyers because they're claiming that I doxed them, which I never did. I like it. You're not being dragged into it. You are the catalyst. You are what caused this. You freak. Holy shit. No mercy, no quarter. I, it's just like, I might, I might not feel as crazy vindicated as someone like Xenosis because his, his situation was even worse than mine. But maybe, maybe one day I too will get a $30,000 payday out of some freak that tries harassing me. You are what others are being dragged into. You dox me, bring receipts. Okay, that's another thing that's crazy. <clears throat> another thing that's crazy is someone can look at a 300 page document extensively sourced with everything. And even just so people, I knew some people would be like, um, but screenshots are easily fakeable, and so like this could just uh, this could just be all fake. First of all, I as as a streamer of the size that I am, I don't have time to fake 300 pages of evidence. Second of all, I knew people would say this because I knew gunt guarding would occur, hey, yo, and I, I included wanna... videos of a lot of these DMs and messages just so people couldn't claim they were tampered with. Spooky never once showed any receipts of him being doxxed, and when asked for proof of me even talking shit, not even doxing, just me talking shit, he was just like, "What? Well, I'm tired of you debate bros always asking for proof. No! This is the f***ing internet. If someone makes a claim, you ask them for proof! You ask them, man! <laughs> Remember reading Spooky's document and you had to go take a walk because you never had to witness pure concentrated tard! Oh my god. It's only okay when Spooky does it. I was just like, ah. the the amount the amount of people claiming it is just insane, man. And he says, I thought I'd gotten out of it. I changed all my names and cut out everyone I thought would drag me back into this nonsense. But somehow, your people found me again anyways. We found you again because you kept lying about me. I wouldn't know about any of your f***ing accounts if you didn't make comments about me on them. Somehow, I know it's crazy. The fox who Gestapo found him. Like when when you met when you are known as Spooky, and then you have an account named Boo Blanket, and the account named Boo Blanket responds to Dev saying Kirsch's a schizophrenic. She doxed my friend, and Spooky's the only person to ever have claimed that I doxed them. Like how dumb are you? <laughs> the post on public websites. Somehow they know. Simple pattern recognition. <laughs> he continues. I'm asking you to please just stop. Forget about me. Never think about me again. Wow. It's almost like I asked that multiple times over the past two years. Wow. Imagine that the bully cries as he strikes you. How do you, how do you become this? How do you get this way? I haven't even spoken to Dev, was briefly last December, and before that is was October. DFD and I aren't even close because she barely ever talks to me either, and I'm less fond because she likes to be nice to me directly, and then say cruel things about me to other people, thinking it won't get back to me. Wow! Imagine that! The things that you do, your friends also do! It's almost like similar people keep similar company! That's crazy! As, who could have seen that coming? That's just awful. How terrible. Oh, no. If that's even true, because all these people know how to do is f***ing lie. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder what it's like to be a schizo to this degree. I feel like this is even insulting to schizophrenics to call him a schizo, but I don't even know what else to say, man. And as for you. <laughs> nice timing. You might think I've been harsh to you in the past, but I want you to understand that I literally only heard about you for the very first time. When I was sent a clip where you called me, quote unquote, that person. Because yeah, I wasn't going to say your f name. Because if I, if I said your name, then I would be being mean. And also the context of me saying that was receiving a DM from Mr. Personality saying, why not bully the femboy? How am I supposed to know your inside jokes and that that is, that is something you're okay with? If somebody says that to me and I have no idea what the context is, I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry I accuse you of liking them since you want to bully them. Like, what, what is this autism? <laughs> 
and again, trying to say, I literally only heard of you for the very first time when I sent a clip where you called me that person, and then some stray screenshots of people around you stalking me on random forums and Discord chats. Can you really blame me for feeling attacked? Why did Dragon Fat Deposits ask months prior to have you collab with me then? Why did she come to one of my mods and ask that? Why did after I declined, and I don't have a screenshot of this, which is why I didn't include it in the document because he deleted his account, unfortunately. Why did you DM me afterwards asking to clear things up? You knew who I was. I was like, please, dude. As someone who only found Akirsha through the art cast appearance and had no idea all this was going on before it started blowing up again, all this convinced you is that if you blow up as a streamer, you never want to interact with DMs or Discord shit outside of memes and non-serious things. Still glad I found Kirsha through it though. It's why I don't accept DMs unless I know the person. It's it's why I talk less in public now because people like this are fucking crazy. It's, it's why, like, as a content creator, you can't just be a normal person because you get people like Spooky and like Dev and like Dragon Fats and it's just like, fuck, dude. It's amazing how these people tell on themselves like this. They fully expect everyone else to be as instantly paranoid as they are and that everyone is always trying to infiltrate and gather dirt on everyone else as a standard method of operation. Exactly. I was like, what the hell, dude? You hear from Pippa Collabs from like forever ago. True. <laughs> Mama Oko, thank you for the 10! Kirsha, you are curious now where things go. This whole thing has definitely taken a toll on lots of people. You're hoping nothing else happens. It would be nice if people just stopped. I've been asking for people to just stop for two years, which is why this document exists. They will not stop. They will not stop. All they will do is implicate more and more people in their actions, which is why when you associate with people who are willing to roll around in sh and lie about others and use people for their own gains, you are going to get dragged down much the same. It's not a guilt by association thing. It's a these people will drag you down. And people, went, when you associate with these people, other normal people will look at you and be like, well, we already know everything that these people have done. We know what they're willing to do. We know how they act. Why is that person interacting with them? And most content creators will not give the benefit of the doubt. They'll just see, oh, X is interacting with Y. They're probably the same kind of person. Don't interact. Noted. And it's it's unfair, right? But it's like the people that you are friends with, and even if you're not friends with them, people will perceive that you're friends with them if you do stuff with them regularly, because that's, that's just how optics work. People will attribute the aspects of the bad person to yourself as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sorry I don't have a better answer for you, uh, o o Oko. I I think I think it's Ocho, but I don't I don't know. I'm retarded, man. <laughs> I like I wish I had a better answer for you, but like this is this is just to to quote the famous London mayor. This is part and parcel of being in the content creator world. And if you want to grow, you will encounter these people. You will encounter people who will slander you, who will lie about you, and you have to kind of like make the choice of. I don't want drama, so I'm just gonna hope they stop. I'm gonna ask them to stop, and if they're not malicious, they will. And I probably sat on this a lot longer than I should have, because anytime I would try bringing it up, Dev would make another threat about making a hit piece on me. I was like, again, I don't know how he claims that DFD is innocent or that nothing was happening when he directly has stated, documented in my document, that the people have been leaking things to me and I have enough to make a hit piece now. Like, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, how do you, how do you lie about that? Uh, it's just like, these. this is what you're going to have to deal with. And you have to be vigilant about who you let occupy your time. Which is which is why Pippa was like the only person I collabed with for a very long time. I was worried about reaching out to people. Pippa is someone that I can absolutely trust, like beyond a shadow of a doubt. And it's just, it's, just, it's, it's scary Honorable to reach out to people knowing some of chatter. these things, you know? And like, I, I didn't even really associate with these people, right? I had like, I gave Dev enough of the benefit of the doubt to like have a cordial conversation with him and I figured it would end there. I gave him the benefit of the doubt because he said, I changed, I don't do what I did during the Gamergate days anymore. I'm a different person. And I, I was like, okay. And just because of that, because I gave him that small benefit of the doubt, I've been dealing with this for two years. Please use me as an example. Some people do not deserve the benefit of the doubt, even if your woman brain says, I would like to. Please, please learn from my naive mistakes and do not make the same one. You can't remember everyone? You can't remember everyone, and that's why content creators keep lists.
SFO is unironically a fed on Trudeau's employee. No one should give him the time of day. Well, I can't verify that. Content creators who are seeing like a slump in their numbers or a slump in their supas will talk with each other and either create fake drama between themselves or implicate an innocent third party in said drama in order to drive up viewership and to drive up revenue. This has been happening since time immemorial. This is why Jim has said you have no friends on the internet. The fighting is fake and these people will throw you under the bus if it means they get a small bump. And so if you are someone who operates like I do, you are seen as naive and easily taken advantage of by these other kinds of people. So you can exist as I do. However, if you want to, you have to have that healthy dose of paranoia and remember Daddy Jim's advice of you have no friends on the internet, you have no friends in content creation, and never trust these people. Like when, when you DM other people, unless there's someone you know you can trust, it's like playing chess, right? Anytime you send a message as a content creator, assume that message will be seen by everyone. You cannot be completely yourself in all spaces if you're entering content creation. And I, I know, uh, I know, uh, Ocho, you, you run like a, a drama channel and you've had people who have unfairly attacked you in the past as a drama channel that will keep happening. That will only get worse. And you will have people who will gun for your downfall by trying to find any little scrap that they can to misconstrue who you are. That is just how this works. It's, it's not fair. It's not fun, but it is it is just what you're going to have to deal with. It's it's just like when when uh when VTubers will make posts on Twitter about like, "Oh my god, I got somebody in my DM saying that I'm trash and I'll never make it." Meanwhile, my DMs are filled with a colorful collection of all the ways that I should fool myself. I, I, it's just like you just get used to it. You just get used to it. It's it's just it's part and parcel of being a content creator. Jesus Christ. Let me let me finish reading this DM so I can get it off screen. <laughs> so I can get it off screen. Literally, the only thing I want is for you to leave me alone. Like once again, wow, the thing that I've been asking for. Please never think of me again. I want nothing from you. Just leave me alone entirely. I'm out of the VTuber community. You and all the other people spreading rumors one months ago. Sorry, sir, but you were the one spreading rumors. The truth always prevails, good sir. I don't even want to reply to this, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh, and to put a finer point on it, I want you to cut me out of your drama documents and stop talking about me. I can and will have a lawyer raise a harassment lawsuit if I need to. And this is how these people get most content creators to shut up. They threaten things like this that are completely baseless like what are you what are you gonna do go to a lawyer and show them my 300 page document and they're gonna read it because they're not some like brain dead zoomer with no attention span it's literally their job to read this and they're gonna be like so you want to bring a case against this woman that you've been harassing for years for harassment and then they're just gonna laugh you out of their fucking office like it's just going to be another google doc situation for you spooky why would you even say this I want nothing more than to never even think your name again, so let's do that mutually, okay? Well, if some of the other things that I've been shown about you are true, enjoy prison, stalker child. <laughs> these, like, it amazes me. It amazes me that these people are f***ing real. Like, I just, I can't, dude. <laughs> How can people be like this? How do they get to this point? I don't know. How do you get to this point is a good question. No, a lot of lawyers would take that case. They would just want to be paid up front. See, Patrick's lawsuit. Uh, pay me up front. I know you're going to lose, but like, I want to take advantage of you.